Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Simona and for today I have a quick feel-good 20-minute flow. So when you're ready, let's start by coming to the front of our mat. Place your feet hips width apart and parallel. Allow your shoulders to rise up towards your ears and then down along your back as you open your palms to face forward. Take a moment here, close your eyes. If you want, you can also gaze down if closing the eyes doesn't feel good. And just take a moment to connect with your breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Pause at the top, open your mouth and exhale all the air out. Two more like that. Inhale through your nose, deep breath in. Hold when you're full. Open your mouth and exhale. One final time. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale all the air out. Good. From here, close your mouth and just breathe naturally through your nose. Maybe take a moment to set an intention for your practice. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just maybe an intention could be to feel good in your body. Any intention you want to set, that's fine. And when you're ready, open your eyes and let's begin the practice. So inhale, sweep your arms out to the sides and reach up towards the sky. Then exhale, fold over your legs as you sweep your arms out and down. Fold over the legs, relax your head down. Inhale, find a halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fold, step the left leg back, step the right leg back, find your plank. One breath, inhale. And exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Point your toes, squeeze your shoulders, uh, squeeze your elbows towards the side ribs, and inhale, lift your chest for cobra. Exhale, lower down. Two more. Inhale, lift up, cobra pose. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift your chest one more time, cobra. Exhale, lower down. Press into your hands, lift up, tuck your toes and extend your legs downward facing dog. First down dog, so maybe take a moment to pedal through your feet, bending one knee and then the other. Keep breathing through your nose. Good, nice. From here, let's bend both knees and walk your feet forward to the front of the mat. Inhale, find your halfway lift, lengthen through your spine, and exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, sweep your arms out to the sides, reach up towards the sky, lengthen, exhale, hands in front of your heart. And again, inhale, sweep your arms out, reach up, lengthen, and exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step the right leg back. Step the left leg back, plank pose. Just one breath, inhale. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Second round of cobras. Draw the shoulders back, squeeze your elbows in, and inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And lower. Press down, lift up into tabletop, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Deep breath. In through your nose. Out through the nose. So throughout our practice, we just breathe through the nose. Maybe seeing if you can find that ujjayi breath, that deep ocean breath in and out through your nose. One more breath cycle here, inhale. And exhale. Bend your knees and walk your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Reach your arms out, reach up. 
Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Inhale, sweep your arms out, reach them up. Maybe find a gentle back bend here. And exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step the left leg back and this time lower the left knee down to the floor. Point the toes and inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky for a low lunge. Reach your arms up, lengthen through the chest, lift the heart up towards the sky as you allow your hips to move forward and down. Deep breath. One more inhale. As you exhale, lower your hands down and then send your hips back, extending through the right leg. Flex the right foot if you can. And find that hamstring stretch at the back of that right leg. Breathe. Let's point the right foot and flex. Point and flex. Two more, point, flex, point and flex, nice. Rebend the right leg, come forward, tuck the back toes and lift the back knee up off the floor. Plant the left hand underneath your shoulder and sweep the right arm forward and up, finding a spinal twist here. Reach the right fingertips up towards the sky, breathe. One more breath, inhale. As you exhale, allow the right hand to come down to the floor on the outside of the right leg and step the right foot back next to the left, finding your plank pose. Deep breath in. As you exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Point your toes. This time, place your fingertips on the floor outside your mat. Elbows up to the sky. Inhale, lift your chest up. And exhale, lower. So it's a slightly different variation of Cobra. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower. Plant your hands, lift up tabletop, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, sweep your right leg up to the sky. Bend the right knee, open your hip. Three circles with that right leg. So create big circles with your right knee. Starting to warm up the hips. Once you're ready, re-extend the right leg. Inhale, square your hips. And exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Then from here, step your left foot forward as well. Next to the right, feet are hips width apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Inhale, sweep your arms out, reach up. Maybe gentle back bend. And exhale to fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right leg back and lower the right knee down. Point the right toes, inhale, sweep your arms forward and up and rise up into a low lunge. Really reach up through your fingertips. Allow your chest to lean back slightly as you lift up through the heart space. At the same time, keep sinking your hips forward and down, finding a nice stretch along the front of that right hip right quad. Inhale, one more breath. And exhale, fold forward. Allow your hands to come down to the floor as you extend the left leg, finding that hamstring stretch. Flex the left foot, toes towards your face. Breathe. Let's point to the left foot and flex. Point and flex. Two more, point. Flex, and one more point, and flex. Good, one more breath here. Good, re-bend the left knee, come forward. Plant the right hand underneath the right shoulder, tuck the back toes and lift the back knee up. From here, extend your left arm up towards the sky for a spinal twist. 
maybe gaze up if that feels good on your neck. Two more breaths here, inhale, exhale. And one more, inhale. As you exhale, lower the left hand down on the outside of the left foot, ground through your hands and step the left foot back next to the right for plank pose. Deep breath here, inhale, exhale all the way to the floor. Point the toes. Once again, hands on the fingertips outside your mat, elbows up and inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, lower down. Two more, inhale, lift the chest up. Feel your back muscles working, so not relying on the fingertips too much and lower down. Final time, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Good. Hands back down on the floor, press to lift up. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out. Lift your left leg up towards the sky. Bend the left knee and open your hip. Now let's find those circles with the left leg. Just three, so make them nice and expansive. Good, one more. When you're ready, re-extend the left leg, square your hips, take a breath in. As you exhale, step the left foot forward in between your hands. Take your time. We'll step the right foot forward as well, next to the left. Feet their hips width apart. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine, and exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, sweep your arms out, rise all the way up to stand, reach up, and exhale, place your hands in front of the heart. Really nice. From here, make sure your feet are still hips width apart, bend your knees, sit your hips low, then send the weight back towards the heels. You can have your hands onto your thighs for a second. We'll find this chair pose with a back activation. So see if you can lift your chest up in this position. So you're finding this length here, the front body, as you contract the back body. Take a moment to feel your back muscles working. You can even place one hand on the back just to, to sense what's happening there. <laughs> All right. And from here, cactus your arms. So open your elbows wide, bending the elbows to 90 degrees. See if you can lift your chest a bit higher. Inhale. Exhale, fold over the legs. Relax down. Take a moment, interlace your fingers behind your back and reach your knuckles up towards the sky. Just one more breath, inhale and exhale. Slowly release your hands down and we'll step the left leg back once again. This time we're going to keep the left knee off the mat. You can have blocks underneath your hands if that's easier for you. I didn't mention that in the beginning, but it's not essential, only if you really want to. All right, from here we'll bend more into the front leg to drop the hips down as you lift up through your heart space, through your chest. So you're finding a nice stretch for the front of that left quad and hip flexor. Inhale here. As you exhale, begin to straighten the right leg. Now it doesn't have to be completely straight. Just as, as straight as you can get it, right? Doesn't matter. If you can straighten it, you can do so. And even more intensity is if you flex the front foot. So it's just different options depending on your level of flexibility of the front leg. And let's float between these two poses. So re-bend the front knee, drop your hips down as you lift your chest up, lift your gaze, inhale. Exhale, straighten through the right leg as much as you can. And again, inhale, come forward, drop your hips, lift your chest. Exhale, straighten through the right leg. One more. Inhale, come forward, drop your hips, lift your chest. Exhale, straighten through the right leg. Really good. Rebend the front knee, lower the back heel down and place the right hand on the inside of the right foot. So that basically your right knee is still bent, right hand on the inside of the right foot, back heel is lowered so that the back heel is in one line with the front heel more or less. 
left hand can be on your waist for a second and begin to lean your chest back as you allow your left shoulder to align over the right shoulder and the right knee. So it's a side angle pose basically. Breathe. Feel the stretch in your right hip, right glute, right inner thigh. If you want, you can extend the left arm up towards the sky or maybe even forward bicep along your ear. And breathe. Two more breaths. Just one more breath. Well done. From here, place your left hand back down. Lift the back heel up. Right hand comes on the outside of the right foot and then step the right foot back next to the left plank pose. Inhale, exhale, lower down to your belly. Point your toes. Hands either side of the mat, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Just one more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Very good, hands come down, press, lift up, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Well done, inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip. Just one breath here, inhale, Exhale, step the right foot forward. Step the left foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Chair pose, second round. Bend your knees, sit your hips back. Weight is in the heels. Hands can be on your thighs for a second. Lift your chest up, engage your back muscles. Form this gentle arch in your back. Rise up through the heart. From here, cactus your arms, bending your elbows to 90 degrees. Breathe. One more breath. Slowly release, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. And exhale, step the right foot back. Again, remember, this time we're we are keeping the right knee lifted. And we're finding this um, lunge position where you drop your hips down and forward as you lift through your chest and lift your chin. Take a moment to feel the stretch along the front of that left uh, hip flexor and quad. Deep breath in. Now as you exhale, begin to straighten through the left leg as much as you can. Again, remember it doesn't have to be completely straight, just finding a hamstring stretch here for the left leg. If you want and if you're more flexible, you can um, flex the left foot, so toes towards your face. Okay, and now let's float between these two. So inhale, come forward, drop your hips, lift your chest. And exhale, straighten through the front leg. Inhale, come forward, drop your hips, lift your chest. Exhale, lift your hips, extend the left leg. Two more. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, lift the hips, extend the left leg. Final time. Coming forward, drop your hips, lift your chest. Exhale, straighten the front leg and fold. Really nice. Now re-bend the front leg. Place your left palm, left fingertips, let's say, on the inside of the left foot as you drop the back heel down. Now check in with your uh, stance. Make sure that the back heel is in one line with the front heel and your left hand is on the inside of the left foot. Right hand will come onto your waist and you slowly begin to peel your chest open to the right as you lean your right shoulder back so it's more or less aligned over the left knee and left ankle and you're in a side angle pose variation. Good, keep pressing down through the left heel. If you want, extend the right arm up or forward 
with your bicep along your ear. Two deep breaths, inhale, exhale. One more breath, inhale. As you exhale, allow your right hand to come down to the floor. Lift the back heel and place the left hand on the outside of the left foot. Press into your hands and step your left foot back next to the right for plank pose. Now for this round, you can either repeat the cobra um, lifts or you can find a upward facing dog through chaturanga. Whichever option you choose, let's go for it. Inhale, shift your weight forward, exhale, lower. Inhale, either a cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Really nice. Inhale, reach the left leg up to the sky, bend your knee and open your hip. Just one breath. Inhale. And exhale, step the left foot forward in between your hands. Step the right foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And exhale, fold over the legs. This time we're going to bend the knees and just come down to sit on the floor. You can even extend your hands forward and sit with as much control as you can. <laughs> All right. Good, extend your arms forward and we'll round through the spine to lower all the way onto the back. Once you get there, cross the right ankle over the left thigh and find your figure four. So hug the left thigh towards the chest and maybe use the right elbow to gently press the right thigh forward away, away from um, your chest and breathe. Finding a nice glute stretch for the right hip And release, switch sides, cross the left ankle over the right thigh, flex the left foot, draw the legs towards your chest and interlace your fingers, maybe over the right chin. Breathe. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Start to wind down here. Begin to steady your breath. Slowly release, hug both legs in towards your chest, inhale and exhale. Allow the legs to fold over, fall over to the left as you cactus your arms out to the sides, finding a nice spinal twist, maybe gaze to the right. Inhale back to center, exhale, lower the legs over to the right. Maybe gaze towards the left. Inhale back to center. Give your legs a nice big hug. One final time. And then slowly release. Extend your legs, extend your arms. And find your Shavasana. You're welcome to stay here for as long as you need. Just resting, allowing your body to absorb the benefits of the practice. And I want to take a moment to thank you for practicing with me. And I hope to see you again on the mat. Namaste.